Hi friends, today I am going to explain you a web application with Nginx, Spring Boot and MongoDB, deployed on a Docker container. I will be using Docker Compose to create this, as we need Docker Netherking. The file showing is the final Docker Compose YAML file. Let me explain the YAML file. It starts with version. The Compose file formats are specific to each version. I will be using version 2 for this example. Below the version, you can create services, all services must be declared under the services key. First service I have created is app, that is a Spring Boot application for REST web services. The source code is in GitHub. URL is provided in the description. If you see the YAML file you can see the image inside the app service, that is present in the Docker Hub will be downloaded on the deployment. Restart colon always is to restart, if the container is down. Port is to define the ports inside the container, and the right side one is to expose to the world. Links is the networking part, you can see the link inside the app service is Mongo, this means that app service will be using Mongo service. This is handled through internal DNS service. You can now easily understand the Mongo service. Volume is to bind the local folder to mount. Data will be saved to the data folder in the local system. Next is Nginx, we are mounting two folders, one for conf file, and the other is default HTML file that will be in the Nginx server. That is the end of this YAML file. Showing is the Docker Hub page for Spring Boot application. Rest of the images we will be using official one. Showing is the GitHub page that contains the Java code. This is used to generate the Docker image. In the conf file you can see the REST API is calling as http colon double slash apps. That is resolved using Docker DNS mechanism. Next is the HTML file that will bind to Nginx server, it is mentioned in the conf file. Showing is the folder structure, on base folder we have the YAML file and two folders. One for the Nginx conf, and the other is Nginx HTML. Now I am going to execute the docker compose up command, that will create all the required docker containers. Let's execute it. Let's test the application. Open the browser and access the Nginx index page that we have mounted in the com Now we'll see the API access. The request first comes to Nginx, and Nginx will work as reverse proxy. If the URL contains slash API, those requests will forward to Spring Boot. Let's test from Postman app. We'll create a new record using Postman.
If you notice, we are accessing application using port number 80, which is Nginx server. Nginx will call the Spring Boot that is using 8080 port. Nginx is able to call the app because of the link we have made. Now we will log into the Nginx Docker container and ping to the app container or Mongo container. As the Docker image is very minimal Linux server, ping command is not present. Let's install that. Let's ping the Mongo server, and that will be success. Let's connect to Mongo server and see the data is present or not. And that is the end of this session. So please subscribe and click bell icon to get updates when new content is added.